Good evening. Welcome to Haverford Sports Media. My name is Ava DiPaccio, and I'm joined by... Jack Kowalski. ...in Younger Gymnasium tonight for Haverford's boys volleyball against Unionville High School. Starting for Unionville, number 23, John Albans. Number five, Bear Ziegler. Number five, Bear Ziegler. Number four, Nathaniel Suplick. Number three, Peter Bauer. Number 21, Austin Edmonds. And number 13, Michael Wiegand. And number eight, Alden Kune. And here's a starting lineup for the Fords. Number 28, Will Walker. Number 18, Achilles Dano. A junior, number nine, outside hitter, Finn McFadden. Number nine, Finn McFadden. A senior, number eight, middle blocker, Luke Sun. Number eight, Luke Sun. A junior, number 13, center, John Schmall. Number 13, John Schmall. Number 16, Adam Basil. And your lover, a junior number 10, Austin McConnell. And number 10, Austin McConnell. Um, they've only lost one set yesterday from Doc Mennonite, which is um, usually their rival school. But Unionville also is quite the competition for Haverford, so this is going to be interesting. Unionville definitely had a really strong warm-up hitting-wise, and Haverford did too. So I think it's going to be pretty evenly matched. Yeah, th I haven't watched too much of the Fords this season, but uh, last season they did look very solid. Um, they did lose Stefan Bilk. Yeah, yeah, he was definitely the player to watch last year. And this year, we still have some really key players to watch. We have um, a few seniors, Luke Sun, Adam Basil, and Finn McFadden are our three strongest. So tonight, I think they're going to be getting us a lot of our points. All right, to start off to serve, we have Libero, Austin McConnell. We see a deep float. Good pass by Unionville. They have very strong defense. And first point goes to Unionville off of a block touch from a push tip. McFadden takes a swing. Unionville passes that one up, avoids the ceiling. Free ball. And Unionville blocks that one out of bounds, so Haverford takes her first point of the first set. I think a key component of this game is just going to be um, keeping serves in because both sides seem to have really strong serve receive and they're setting themselves up really well. Yeah, I think, think you're right about that. Both <laughs> both teams um, have been able to return the serve very well. That ball's tipped outside of the antenna, so that's going to 
result in a point for the Fords. And Elliot Scheide is up to serve. This is his first year on varsity, and he's been doing very well. Strong, deep serve. Tight pass for Unionville. They tip it. Luke Sun blocks it down. Looks like a point for Unionville. Haverford was in the net. I think the setter was in the net. It was a really tight pass, and he just fell into it. Top's been served by number eight on Unionville. What a serve. That's inbounds. Number eight, Alden Cunane. He has been a key player to watch almost every single year he's been on this team. We'll see him dominate the front and the back row. It's been served again. Perfect pass by McFadden. Hits the ceiling. Goes to tip it. Basil pushes that one to the deep corner, and that is out of bounds. That's a good strategy to use when you're scrambling a little bit, um, but you really do want to make sure you keep that in bounds. McFadden with the swing again. What a spot. Number 21 for Unionville is a very strong hitter, but typically what um, the opponent team will do is aim for the hitters when they're passing because passing's not really their strong suit. Haverford fails to recover that ball. That's definitely a diving play that needs to be made, but it's a hard one. It takes a lot of effort for a push like that. Libero number four serves that top spin. Perfect pass by McConnell. Luke Sun takes a swing. Overpass, dump down. Point Haverford. It is now 4-5 Unionville. Luke Sun with the top spin. And that one's in. Perfect pass by Unionville. Both sides doing very well. Blocked down by Haverford. Number 21's blocked by Will Walker. Haverford really does put up a big block, something that you want to avoid if you are the other team. Luke Sun with a deep top spin. That one just misses the line. You got lucky there. But Haverford is definitely going to want to keep their serves in if they want to rack up points because Unionville is playing really strong right now. Pass by McFadden, set outside to Basil. That one touches the ceiling. That's definitely something that we'll see a lot of teams struggle with when they play at Haverford, those really low ceilings that our team luckily has come to adjust to, but it's really hard to adjust to when you're not used to it. Yeah, the, the lo low ceiling in the middle is not fun to play with, especially when you're an opposing team. Yeah. What a scramble play. Off a of free ball. Swing down, McFadden can't quite get that one. That's a great swing. Great pass by Basil. Set out to him and he's blocked. Looks like Haverford's struggling to cover some of the blocks down by Unionville tonight. It's definitely a quick play that needs to be made, but the forwards are really strong, and I'm sure they'll adjust to it. Basil passes that one. Slide by Will Walker. What a swing. Shank towards our table. That goes point Haverford. We're going to see Adam Battle with the serve. He's a senior and a captain and definitely a key player to watch. He's going to top spin. Great serve. Perfect pass by Austin Edmonds. Ed Edmonds. That's a great spot by Unionville, but just out of bounds. The Fords get lucky on that one. So from that, we'll learn that Unionville can definitely hit their spots, even if it's just out of bounds. It's a good lesson to be learned for the Fords. The Fords are going to have to keep control and watch 
where Unionville places their shots. Set to McFadden. Q name with the swing. He tips that one, but there was no touch on that block when it came back down. He tips that one off the net. Point Haverford. The Fords now taking the lead of the game with Basil serving. Up 9-8. Top spin served into the net. That's a great run for Basil. Now the game is tied at 9 9. Number five, Bear Ziegler with a serve. Standing float. Perfect pass by McFadden. Set up the play. He takes a swing. They're blocked, but they cover it. Set right side to Will Walker. Swings that one into the net. Just couldn't quite get on top of it, but that's still a good aggressive swing. Ziegler's going to take the serve again. Short serve to the libero. Great set by Schmall. Set right side to Walker again. Unionville can't quite get that one if it touches off the block and falls short on the court. All right, we're back to the first server for the Fords, Austin McConnell. Let's see if he can get a run for us. Got a great deep float, but Unionville just on their passing game tonight. The Fords are going to need to go up with a much stronger block if they are going to want to um, get more block kills tonight, especially off of Q Nain and Edmonds. Set to Luke Sun. He swings that one down. Unionville recovers it. Deep push covered by Basil. Jump set to Achilles Dano. He swings that one down. He's going to push again. Basil is ready for that one this time. Luke's up, tips it, and it's shanked by the libero for Unionville. Point forwards, and we're tied again at 11-11. Shidey is now in for Dano for the forwards. We're going to see a float serve. Hit by Cunane. And Unionville recovers that one off the ceiling. Set to McFadden. That's a great spot. He hits that one to the corner. And that ball, that's a joust. Lands on the forward side. That's a hard one to get. Both players are just so tall. Really could have gone either way. All right, Cunane with the top spin. This is a really hard ball to recover, so the Fords have to adjust. Off the ceiling, but that's an easy play for the Fords to make. Set to Edmonds. Three ball for Unionville. They're going to set up a middle. Middle hit. Blocked down by Luke Sun. Luke Sun's committed to play at Wentworth Institution of Technology. It's a good volleyball school. Top spin by Finn McFadden. Hit down by Edmonds. McFadden with the back row tip. Cunin takes that swing and he hits that off the block. Again, proving that he is very strong both offensively and defensively. Back set to Luke Sun. He plays middle and right side. And it looks like there was a player in the net. Luke Sun now up to serve for the Fords. Tied 13-13. We have a top spin. Goes deep. Middle tip covered by Luke Sun. He can pass two. Swing down by Basil. What a swing. That was a great spot. Just rocketed right down. That's something that the Fords really need to showcase more tonight and set the hitters who are playing at their full potential. 
That was a great swim. Top spin by Luke again. He's going to want to avoid serving at Cunade next time. It looks like his passing is just very strong. Locked down by Basil. He's on fire right now. That one goes deep, but it's still in bounds to Cunane. Back row. It's a great swing from Unionville. Just hit the right same spot. Very hard ball to recover. Number three with the deep float. Basil passes that, and it's set back up to him. He tips it. Set outside to Emmons, and he gets the kill off the block. Haverford really needs to strengthen their hands when they're blocking, and that will just go right back down. And that's a point for the Fords. John Schmall, our very short setter, dumps that one over the net, and it comes back over for a kill. He serves that one deep, overpass, pushed down by Will Walker, and that's a kill. Dump kill for Will Walker. He really just gets up on that, hits it down. It's nice to have some height on the team. Right side to Edmonds, touches off the block, it's over the net. Edmonds with a swing. A back row to McFadden, also very strong offensively and defensively. John Schmall overpasses that. He looks a little disappointed with that one. It's going to be a tight ball. Set by Cunin to number 13. Schmall sets out to Basil. There's a touch off the block. Point Haverford. The Fords are now up by three points, 18-15 in the first set. Haverford is really picking up on some of Unionville's habits now, like hitting the corners. That's a great pass. Hitting seams, their serves. I think this is really why we're starting to rack up some more points. Edmonds with a swing. Great pickup by John Schmoll and Austin McConnell. Free ball by McFadden. And that's tipped down. What a tip from Unionville. That is just almost impossible to recover with the height, and that was just absolutely thrown down. Edmonds with the serve. Perfect pass by McFadden. Set up to Basil. That's blocked out of bounds. Point Haverford. Basil with the top spin. What a serve. Edmonds passes that perfectly. Swing by Cunane. That's out of bounds. and Unionville is going to take their first time out of the match.
All right, we're back after the timeout. Basil is serving. We're going to see a deep top spin. What a spot. Unionville is going to struggle to recover that. Off the ceiling. Set to Dano, and he swings that one right down into the seam. That's a great swing by Achilles Dano. Not even a touch off the block. He just hits that one right through it. Basil takes the retoss. And he serves that one out of bounds. All right, we're going to see number five, Bear Ziegler, with the serve. Deep float to McConnell. He passes that one perfectly. Set to McFadden. That one's in bounds right down the line. It's the first line shot we've seen tonight, and it's a kill. It's a good thing to pick up on for the Fords. Um, Unionville might just struggle to cover that one. We're back to the top of the serving order with McConnell and his deep float. Overpass, Sun blocks that one right down. Edmund struggling with his passing right now, and Luke Sun is really on fire with his blocking. But it looks like someone was in the net. Haverford's going to look to get this point back build up their momentum again to take the first set. And there's a ball don't lie moment. Right down to the back line, Finn McFadden gets the kill. We're gonna see Elliot Scheide with the serve. He has a good short float. Set to Cunane. They get a touch off the block, but it's shanked out of bounds by Luke Sun. The approach that Kane takes is just a really hard one to pick up on when you're blocking. Just timing wise, it's really, really difficult. Kane with a top spin. Serves that one into the net. He was really looking to get that one over and build up some more points. Haverford at their game point. McFadden with the top spin. That one's really deep. Out of bounds. Point Unionville. Only down by four points. The Fords can't stay complacent. They just have to work really hard to get this next point, and they will secure the first set. There's a scramble play for Unionville, but they unfortunately cannot take the first set. Haverford wins 25-20. Yeah, the Fords need to settle into some sort of rhythm here. Skin kills. They're really just getting points um, and preventing Unionville from trying to make a run at it, which they ended up doing towards the end of this set. Yeah, I think the Fords did a good job just staying consistent and working for every single point instead of letting Unionville get a huge lead, which is hard to come back from in volleyball because, of course, it only goes to 25 points. And we'll be right back.
All right, we're back in the second set. The Fords took the first one 25-20, so they're going to look to just stay really consistent again, like we already talked about, so they can take the second set and move on to the third. They do play best of five, so um, every single game they've played, they've won in at least four sets, so I think they're looking to just keep the rhythm going throughout the season and not have to take any to five because those are gen generally pretty risky um, and just really nerve-wracking when you have to go to the fifth set because that one actually only goes to 15 points when you have to go to the fifth um, in set 25. Yeah, and the guys are also really tired by that fifth set as well. Right, right. Ready to be done. Yeah, that's definitely just like a brutal, brutal to plan, brutal to watch. It's really hard. All right, Unionville is going to start out with the serve this time. Number 13, Michael Wiegand. Float serve with a little top. Perfect pass by McFadden. Set up to McFadden. That one's blocked down by Unionville. Both teams are blocking and hitting very exceptionally. Locked down by Dano and Walker. Tip covered by McConnell. To Walker, that one's out of bounds. Haverford already down 0-2 in the second set. They're really going to want to start to pick it up because Unionville has some very strong serves, and it's taking a lot of effort from the forts to make a play, recover, and get the point. Great serve by Unionville. Set up again to McFadden. He's blocked down once again. really important in these situations when you're just consistently getting blocked to not get in your head and just remember that. Just keep swinging. They're not going to block you every time. You'll be fine. Back set to Dano. He's blocked, and that one's out of bounds. It's also good to remember that even if you're blocked, it can have a good outcome because you can tool them, and they'll just block that right out. Served by McConnell. That's a short float. Recovered by Unionville. Hit down by Luke Sun, and that's shanked out of bounds. Haverford starting to regain that momentum that they've been lacking in the first two points. The score is now 2-3, Unionville. Another short float by McConnell to Edmonds. Looks like he's really targeting him. And Cunane misses that hit. That may only be the second one we've seen so far tonight. Unionville definitely looks to set him quite a lot. He does get a lot of points for them. And there's a deep float by McConnell. He's really mixing up where he serves it, which is a good serving tactic. And that's a free ball kill for Unionville. Not something that you see a lot, but it's a really exciting play. Stop spin by Cunane. And that's that hits the antenna out of bounds. Looks like Cunane's struggling a little bit with his hitting and serving. Served by Shidey. Perfect spot hit by Edmonds. He hits the seam on that one. Great spot by Libero for Unionville. Set over the net. The middle is called a lift on Unionville. Point Haverford, we're tied up now in the second set, 5-5. McFadden, top spin serve. Cunane with the perfect pass. Hit to Shidey off the middle, that's a shank. Unionville has some very strong middles.
That's point Unionville. A Haverford player was in the net. Looks like this set is going to be very tight once again. Both teams just playing really strong in every aspect of the game. Set to Luke Sun. He absolutely demolishes that ball right down. That's a great swing by Luke Sun. The forwards are getting back momentum now. Trying to swing into their <laughs> direction. Great pass by Unionville. <laughs> Set to Will Walker. That one's in bounds. Luke Sun. Float serve. That's a shank for Unionville. Point Haverford off Luke Sun's serve. Looks like he aimed for Edmonds on that one. Haverford can't quite block that down. Lands on their side. Point Unionville. It's a tough block for Will Walker and the others inside. It's just a hard spike right down the middle. There's not, not much you can do there. McFadden passes that. Set to Basil. He does a deep tip that time, out of bounds. Game's getting really close. McFadden signaling for the other players to start picking it up, so. Maybe they can get a serving run, get a lead, and secure the second set as they did the first. Edmund serves that one into the net. Haverford's really going to want to take advantage of that miss. Yeah, I mean, in, in technicality, it, that just becomes a free play there. Just yeah. a free point. 13 with the sling. Basil blocks that one down. McFadden out of the back row. That's a kill. It's a great kill by Finn McFadden. Yeah, he just came up out of nowhere, hit that right down. Unionville's been struggling to receive those hits in the back row, so I think they're really going to want to utilize that hit. I agree with that. Tip by Cunane, that one's out of bounds. The forwards are now up 11 to 9. Starting to get this lead back as they did in the last set. They were down for a little, but they have started to pick it back up. Set back to Cunane. He hits that one down. McConnell. Beautiful pass. Free ball to Unionville. Set to the right side, number 13. And Haverford can't quite recover that swing. It's hard to recover there off of the free ball. It just gives Unionville a uh, it lets them take their time mm -hmm. on their play. It's just hard to recover there. Pass into the net. Schmalk can't quite get the one out. It's a hard one to get. A lot of teams train really hard to learn how to recover the balls in the net, but it's just not easy. That one goes out of bounds. Point Haverford. Still have a slight lead, but it's very close. Haverford really has to just fight for every single point at this time in the game because it's so early and Unionville can make a comeback. Blocked out of bounds by Haverford. A lot of these blocks from Haverford have been hit out of bounds. They're really just going to want to try and fight to keep all of those in because Unionville's gotten a lot of free points off of them. Pass by McFadden. Set to Walker. He pushes that one to the middle of the court. What a swing. From Unionville. Unionville's just been really on fire with their hitting. Hitting the seams that Haverford can't quite cover. Learning what Haverford struggles with. That's where a lot of Unionville's points have come from. Seems like Unionville isn't able to get their serve down 
quite well. They that's the second one they've hit out of bounds. Mm-hmm. I think in a row too. Yeah, that's something that a lot of teams want to avoid. Cunane, roll shot down the line, but he hits that one out. That's a good spot to aim for, though, because Haverford didn't really seem ready for it. So he might go for that shot again when he's back in the front row. Yeah, if he could just keep it, uh, get a little bit more control over him, just keep it just right, right in bounds, that could probably be a bad spot for Haverford. Yeah. McConnell serves the one out of bounds. Top spin by Cunane. Luke Sun hits that one inbounds. Comes right at our table. It's a great spike by Luke. Just puts as much power as he possibly could into it, and there's just no possible way for Unionville to yeah, recover okay. from that. Mm-hmm. With this height and the power of a swing, yeah. it's going to be a kill most of the time. Unfortunate for Unionville. Schmall hits that one over the net. Set to Edmonds. He hits that spot that Haverford's been lacking at, but it is recovered. Ref calls a replay on that one. I think he just blew the whistle too early. Haverford up 15-14. And I've seen this in the past. Haverford does have very low ceilings, and yes. that's something that's very hard for teams to deal with. And I bet you that Haverford does practice that during uh, the season and off season. Yeah, the coaches do um, integrate the ceiling into the drills that they do just because it happens so often. (laughs) Unionville misses another serve. They look really disappointed by that. They've lost a ton of points off of the missed serves, and they could be winning right now because it is all tied up. Well down by Luke Sun. That's a huge block, solo block even. This kid's so talented. I can totally see why he, he has the ability to go to college for volleyball. Right. Yeah. I mean, men's volleyball is just so hard to just stay, like, y- even just commit for it. So... Yeah, he's playing for a great team. It's going to be really good. Number three, Peter Bauer with the serve. Top spin. Luke Sun with a swing. That's another kill for Luke Sun out of a different hitting position this time. Still able to get the kill from Unionville. Again, they just have no answer for Luke Sun. Yeah, I know. He's just, he's so tall. He has so much power to his swing. It's just insane. Almost just like impossible. It's scary. Back row swing for Cunane. Basil pushes that one to the deep corner. Another back row swing for Cunane, and Haverford tries to block that one, but it ends up back on their side. It's just tough. There was so much power on that swing. Yeah. There's not much you can do about it. Just move on, get the next point. Basil, that's a great spot, but just out of bounds. Another missed line shot. Both teams seem to be struggling to hit that one, but if they can keep it in, again, it's a good spot. Another miss serve for Unionville. I mean, in my opinion, if Unionville hadn't missed most of their serves, they would have probably already won this set. I agree. That's that's most likely just the killer for them. Yeah, so I think once they call the next time out or after the set, the coach is really just going to tell them, keep your servant, get the plays going, and the points will come. Yeah. (laughs) 
looks like that ball from Basel was going out of bounds, but a Unionville player did touch it, so that's a kill. We're tied up again. And it's mistakes like those that will kill a team. Mm -hmm. Just not being aware of your surroundings and where you are and allowing a team to get a kill, a free kill like that. It's just it's mentally destroying for exactly. a team. Exactly. Yeah. Destroys the momentum. Will Walker with the swing again. Another shank from Edmonds. He's a great hitter, but definitely other teams will recognize that and ultimately aim for you and your passing in the back row. Yeah, I feel like for a lot of teams, it's find the weak, the weak player. Yes, he's a varsity player and he's good, but he's got a weakness. Find it and then just exploit it. Exactly. Cunane with the free ball. Haverford's going to set up a play to McFadden. And they pick up on that spot that he's been hitting. Will Walker hits that one right down. That may have been his best swing of the night. Like Luke's son, he really just gets up super tall. I mean, he's a tall kid. Gets up really high and just hits it right down. That's almost impossible to recover once again. Yeah, there's so, there's so much height and strength on this team. It's just... There's, especially when they get a play set up like that, it's so hard to stop them. Yeah, even the block, just like Unionville, they're a pretty tall team as well, but not quite as much height as Haverford has, so that's also like a weakness that they face. And I also feel like Haverford has a lot of small, quick players that's al that allows them, even off of a kill attempt, that allows them to get a play set up for the taller players, yeah, yeah. They all contribute. All right, we're coming out of Unionville's timeout. They're down by two points in the second set, 22-20. Cunane, amazing pass. The ref's going to call that Haverford's point. Adam Basil might be just the last person that Unionville's going to want to face right now when they're down by three points in the second set. Two points away from game point. He's got such a strong serve. Makes it really hard to set up a play. But they do set up a play and get the point off of a short roll shot which might be something that they're going to try to do more often since Haverford just didn't put in any effort to get that point. And Adam Basil does it right back at them. That's always such a fun play when you just do it right back and you get the point. Yeah, and I also feel like Haverford on their serves is targeting Edmonds because they see he's weaker when it comes to taking a ball off the serve. I agree, yeah. Again, I mean, he's a great passer, but definitely someone that you want to target when they're so strong hitting-wise, passing-wise, usually not as much. Dano. Miscommunication. That, yeah, right in the middle of the court, that's just such a great spot to hit. Um, looks like that's the second time that's happened, so who knows? Haverford might try to do it again. Yep. All right, and that's the second set. Haverford wins 25-21. We'll see you in the third.
All right, we're back in the third. Cunane with the roll shot. That's the third kill in a row that both teams have taken off a roll shot to the middle of the court. Coaches on Haverford do not look happy with that because obviously they should have learned from their mistake last time. So I think they're going to pull up and try to cover that this time. Yeah, it's, it's one thing you have to do is you have to learn from your mistakes as you're playing, not just when you're in practice. I agree. I do want to. I want to give a quick shout out to uh, Max Capello, who was on for the second set, um, and all the people listening in Kentucky. Yes, shout out to our fans in Kentucky. We have a very large and far fan base. Great swing from Unionville, right down the line, hits that seam in the corner, gets around the antenna. That's just all around a 10 out of 10 shot. Cunane is a low and deep top spin. Very hard to pass, but Haverford's been doing a great job. Free ball to Unionville. They're going to set up a play. It's the ceiling there. Yeah, they make a really scrappy play off the ceiling. Get the ball over the net, but it is out of bounds. Very unfortunate. Also a very lucky play. Um, often the ceiling doesn't work for the better, so that's a fun one. McFadden with the top spin. Serves that one into the net. He has a great serve. Just sometimes when you go really aggressive, it does unfortunately hit the net. Perfect pass. Set to Luke Sun. Straight down. That's a great kill for Luke Sun. Best one of the night. And now he's going to go back to serve, hopefully keeping that momentum going. Our bench was really excited for that one. Float serve. And a kill right back at Haverford from number five on Unionville. That's just an absolute bullet. Honestly, not something that any passer wants to have coming at them. So Haverford's just going to take it and roll with it and hopefully get the next point. Schmall gets up. Possibly smallest player on the team gets up and blocks the tallest player on Unionville. Not something you see very often. The hey. whole team was really excited about that. Schmall's got hops. He does. We're going to see Austin Emmons with the serve. Set up to Basil. Basil right down the line. Out of bounds. Another missed line shot for Haverford. Maybe not the smartest hit to take right now, but Haverford is up by two sets, so the risky plays are not quite as risky. Dano with the deep tip. That's a great spot. A little miscommunication there by Unionville. Not completely sure what was happening. Yeah, I mean, down by two sets, miscommunication, not on a roll right now. Unionville looking a little disappointed. They need to start picking it up if they want to take this win. Very out-of-bounds serve for Adam Basil. I think he's really just looking to take the risk, go as hard as he can because he knows that he has time. Set to Dano. He's blocked. McFadden, great spot. That's a tight pass. And Walker just blocks that one straight down off the overpass, something that is a really great outcome for when you have a lot of height on your team. That's just, like, such an easy play. We love to see it.
big block for Haverford, but they do block it out of bounds. Great pass by McFadden. He's set in the middle. It's recovered by Edmonds. Free ball to Haverford. That ball passed really tight by Luke's son. He apologizes for small because it's really hard to recover a tight ball like that when you are that height, um, regardless of how high he jumps. Unionville serves another ball out of bounds, something that they've been struggling with a lot tonight. Back set to Cunane, off the hands of Austin McConnell. That's a tough one, just comes straight at your face. All you can do is put your hands out, hope for the best, aim it as accurately as you can. Sometimes it just doesn't quite work as well as you want it to. Cunane, we're gonna see a top spin. Might be Unionville's strongest server. Oh, that's a double, yep. First one of the night, our setters have been doing a really good job keeping their hands clean, not doubling. If you're gonna double, might as well do it in the third set when you're up by two. Cunane with the top spin, McFadden, such a great pass. And Edmonds hits that one right into the net. That one was a little low to swing at for an overpass. Good idea, just a little bit low. Edmonds has made a couple of mis key mistakes in this game. Um, which have led to Unionville being down two sets. Aims for Edmonds once again, but serves that one out of bounds and over to the table. Now Edmonds is in the front row, so they're going to have to find someone new to target when they're serving. Luke Sun with a swing. Another kill for Luke Sun. Shed to the bench. Coming right back to serve off of the kill, but he does try to go for that short serve which is a hard one to get over, and he serves that one into the net. Haverford down by three points, 10 to 13 in the third set. Haverford's serve-receive game is just on point tonight. McFadden with the kill from the back row. Love to see it. He gets a kill almost every time when he's back there. That's a great spot to utilize, hitting off of. Will Walker with a block. That's a huge solo block for Will Walker. Very strong blocking tonight. Setting up John Schmall for another serve. He's a great spot server. Aims for Edmonds. Edmonds with a swing down the line. That's recovered by Haverford. And another short roll shot. That's a great spot. Adam Basil might have the highest I volleyball IQ on the team. He knows the spots that Unionville struggles with. Edmonds, another pass. Back row tip by Cunane. Basil with another swing, but he's blocked by number 13. Basil just went for a huge swing off of a really momentum-filled approach, but he is blocked. Sometimes that's what happens when you go up a little too hard. Edmonds with the short serve, set to Basil. That's a really tight one. Q-Main just right down, right through the block. 
Haverford's block, as big as it is, sometimes struggles with those tight ones. And Cunane just jumps so high. Another serve out of bounds for Unionville. Now the Fords are only down by one point. Again, if Unionville can just keep their serves in, get some points off of them, maybe they'd be winning by a lot more right now. <laughs> Top spin by Basil. Fords are trying to swing momentum in their direction now. Got to get a lead, just finish out this set. Ah. And right as Haverford has the tie, they miss their serve. Short serve to McFadden, set to Dano. Cunane is blocked by Achilles Dano. He really tries to go for that short roll shot again, which has been working for kills on both sides. But Achilles Dano picks up on that, and he can block it right down. Set to Cunane, he's blocked again. It's two times in a row. Wow, that is just one way to destroy confidence, destroy momentum, and rack up points. Two blocks in a row. Not something you see very often. Kunane came into this game after a game against Spring Forward having 25 kills. Yeah, he definitely was expecting something like that again. But Haverford's blocking game is just typically hard to get around. Can't quite get 25 kills in this kind of game. McFadden set, and he's blocked, but out of bounds. Point goes to Haverford, and now they're up by one, 18-17. The score getting really close to game point. Um, Unionville is going to look to get all of their next serves in because any missed serve is just destroying their potential to win. Pip into the net by Cunane. His confidence is just going right downhill. He's been blocked. He's missing. Great serve by Shetty. Set to number three. This is his first time getting set in the game, and he's blocked. Unionville just struggling to keep their heads in the game right now. They call a timeout. Haverford is up by three points. Only five points away from winning. Hopefully the forwards can finish this out. Yeah. Keep them undefeated. Mm -hmm. I think that's what the coaches are just going to tell them to do. Keep picking spots, aiming at people when they're serving, and good things will come. I think Unionville's coaches are probably talking about how they really need to work on just keeping their serves in and also getting their hits over the net because they have been missing some shorter ones as well. And we're back from the timeout. Elliot Shady still serving. Deep float to Evans. Highly targeted passer and serve receive. They hit that one back at Shady and he shanks it. Haverford can't stay complacent. They're only up by two points in the set. But they definitely have some room to play with aggression. Cunane. Serves that one out of bounds. He does not look happy with himself. It's been quite a few mistakes in a row. And this is just ultimately led to the downfall of this set. Edmonds shanks that one.
Unionville really just losing control of this set. McFadden also has a great serve. Not easy to recover and build momentum off of. Edmonds with the swing. Amazing up by Finn McFadden. Basil with deep tip. That's such an easy pass to make, but Cunin can't quite make it. I think he's just really in his head right now because these kinds of things, like shanking the easy balls, just really come with the loss of your playing. Yeah, Cunin definitely needs to gain some confidence back in order for this team to win. And I think he does there. Yeah, he definitely did there. That was a great swing. I think they're definitely going to look to set either Cunane in the back row or Edmonds in the front row. Those are their two key hitters. Try to rack up some points here. Basil, that one's in right through the block, over the hitter's head, over the blocker's head and the libero's head. Hits a deep corner. What a spot from Basil. And Chase Kurtz is in now to serve for Luke Sun. It is game point. Fords 24, Unionville 19. Kurtz, definitely not quite as warmed up as the other players. He's thrown in to serve. That's still a great spot, just a little out of bounds. Let's see if we can finish this off. Will Walker! Closes out the set and the match off of a kill. Overall, that was a really strong match for both teams. Just Unionville ended up losing their momentum, losing their confidence. And at the same time, Haverford was building up their momentum, building up their confidence. And it resulted in a Haverford win once again, still undefeated. Yeah, this was an amazing game to watch. Very close and competitive. Yeah, very competitive. Both have strong hitters, passers, blocking. But in the end, Haverford secures it. Thank you for watching. Tune in next time.